President and Chief Executive Officer of KNOC to start us off, so please welcome Dr. Kim. Thank you, Michael. Good afternoon, everyone. In May, the May in Korea, May is called Queen of the Month. And I hope uh, you see uh, beautiful flowers uh, in full blossom everywhere. And flower is the starting point of fruitful uh, autumn. And I sincerely hope and wish that this WGC in Daegu be the flower of your organization that bears abundant fruit in the future. Korea National Oil Corporation, known as KNOC, has three primary uh, businesses. One is, of course, oil and gas and uh, strategic oil and gas stockpile and the logistics. <clears throat> we have uh, uh, EMP business in uh, 16 different countries globally. Uh, domestically, uh, we, have, we operate gas field uh, in East Sea of Korea. Korea, uh, KNOC will continue to look for oil and gas in Korean Peninsula as well as in overseas to preserve Korea's national energy security. Uh, in some sense, therefore, I call it KNOC as the de defense of energy department uh, because of we are guardians of energy security, uh, one of the guardians is of energy security in Korea. While maintaining the national energy security, we put efforts in innovative and technology for the future. I want to mention briefly in two topics. One is a digital transformation. That we established called the Smart Data Center and started working on transforming our enormous data uh, into assets. Another example of a uh, digital transformation is that we utilize AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning um, for uh, EMP businesses. One of the examples is uh, vertical image, image resolution enhancement for recovering uh, reservoir analysis, recovering oil much more effectively. In this way, we are moving into the new direction as a data and artificial intelligence and digital transformation. The second part is, is a CCS, carbon capture and sequestration. From the circular economy point of view, the process of CCS is somewhat the reverse of the production of oil and gas. Therefore, CCS suits very well with our core competencies. KNOC, KNOC, along with other uh, uh, private companies, launched uh, 400,000 uh, ton per year of CO2 uh, demo project, sequestrating CO2 into a depleted uh, gas field in East Sea of Korea. For world to meet its net zero objectives, it is critical to develop and deploy CCS technologies faster and at much greater scale. At the cost, at the cost of CCS it is, is a big factor. We have to come up with innovative systems that multiple emission sources can share CO2 transport infrastructures. In countries other than US or EU, it would not be easy for individual companies to invest the building necessary infrastructures. 
government should or must play a big role uh, in developing infrastructures for CCS. In Korea, KNOC wants to be and will be a pioneer in laying, laying this foundation. But this is not enough. We need to put more efforts in, into innovative R&D activities, capture, storage, and utilization. Most of CCS currently being applied are somewhat very expensive, maybe difficult to sustain. To overcome this, we need, to, we need a technological breakthrough, not an improvement of what we have been doing. Luckily, I came across a quite a few innovative technologies that are on the horizon. In CCS, I want to reiterate what I said uh, at the WPC last year, that CCUS technology advances cannot be achieved by a standalone company or entity. We have to work together. I'd like to propose an international R&D task force to promote innovative R&D. Let us apply new and innovative technologies to CCS by collaborating global experts, not only oil and gas, but also in physics, material sciences, chemical engineering, AI, and digital transformation. Thank you very much.